Hey everyone, so in this part we're going to be creating our uh, bullet that's going to be shot out of the rocket and we're also going to be creating our enemy. So from the last part what we have is we have a spaceship where we can control left to right. We've also set up the boundary for the spaceship so that when the spaceship hits or tries to go out of bounds, it remains in bounds. The first thing I want to do is right here, player.setHeading. Uh, I'm going to remove this first. It doesn't affect the gameplay whatsoever. The only reason I had it before was because um, before the shape I was planning to use was an arrow. So if we did set the heading, it would be facing upwards. But when I imported the rocket image, um, this has no effect whatsoever. So I'm just going to remove that. And now that we've removed that, we can create a bullet so let's actually create the bullet before the keyboard binding so create players bullet again we want to create a bullet pen is equal to turtle dot turtle bullet and then we can set like a color of the bullet uh let's set the color to yellow in this case and we can set the shape of the bullet to a triangle. Uh, let's also raise the bullet, bullet dot up since when we move it, we want to, when we move it, we don't want to draw anything. We want to set the speed to zero. And then we want to set the heading of the bullet, bullet dot set heading. To 90, so it will be facing upwards. And then bullet dot. We can set the size. We don't want the bullet to be too big. So let's set a 0.5.5 for the x and y, the length. And then let's hide this bullet. Hide. Well, actually, before I hide it, I'll, I'll run it and see how it looks. So in the center, you see there's a bullet, but we can't control it. And, well, we can't really do anything. It just stays in there. So, for now, we just want to hide the bullet. Dot. Hide. Turtle. We also, we don't want to just leave the bullet in the center. We want to fire the bullet. So, let's create another function called define fire bullet. We want, so, we want the bullet to be, um, shot from the tip of the uh, rocket ship. So let's, so we want the bullet to be shot from right here, the red tip. And how we do that is we want to, every single time we move the rocket ship, we want the bullet to also be at the same position. So the X coordinate of the bullet is gonna be the player's X coordinate. The Y coordinate of the player is gonna be the player's Y coordinate. Then we want to set the position of the bullet. Dot set position at this X position and the Y position plus 30. The reason why we set it at 30 plus 30, if we set it exactly at the Y position, it would be at the center of the rocket ship. So if we if we set the uh, position of the bullet right here to the player's Y coordinate, it will be right here. But since we want it to come out of the tip, we want to add 30 pixels to the Y value. And then every single time we fire it, we want to show the bullet. So it was hiding before. So now if we fire it, we want to show the bullet. And then how do we call this? We want to add another keyboard binding. So whenever, let's say like a space button is pressed, it's going to call the function and then the bullet is going to be fired. So to create another um, binding, keyboard.onKey, the function is underscore fire underscore uh, bullet. And then the button is space. So whenever we press the space button on our keyboard, uh, the code is going to call the fire bullet function. So this function. So let's say when we run this, and then 
I pressed space, the bullet was there. I pressed space again, now it went there. And then basically every single time I press space, the bullet is going to follow or shoot out of the tip of the rocket. So now what do we want to do? We want the bullet to move forward. So when we press space and shoot this out, we don't want it just to just stay there. We want the bullet to move forward and hit the enemy at a constant speed. And how do we do this? Well, we want to create another variable. Uh, bullet speed is equal to zero, or not zero, ten. So this is going to be ten pixels. And while we want to create a while loop, so the bullet just keeps going forward. While true bullet dot forward at the speed. So you can adjust the speed to whatever you want. If we keep it at 10 pixels, and then we shoot it, it moves pretty quickly. You see the bullet is moving forward at 10 pixels. Now that we've basically did this, we want to create an alien, or an enemy, basically. So again, we don't want to just have the enemy as like a rectangle, or like a turtle, or um, a triangle. We want to register another shape, so that just it looks better for turtle dot register shape images alien dot gif gif and then now that I register the shape I can set the turtle equal to that shape so create play bullet yeah we can create it like right here Create invader turtle. So invader, that's that's gonna be the pen, is equal to turtle dot turtle. Invader dot shape again, since we already since we already registered the shape, we can set the shape of this pen to that shape. And then what if we want to set the position or change the position, we're gonna raise this. And set the speed to zero and set the position to negative 180, 180. So if we run this actually, let's see what happens. There is now an invader or enemy icon at the top left of our border. And if we shoot it, well, nothing's going to happen, the bullet's just going to pass through. So that's unfortunate. We want to actually be able to hit the bolt, the hit the enemy, as well as move the enemy, so it doesn't just stay there. Because then that'll make the game way too easy. So let's actually move the enemy first. So let's set uh, right here above the bullet speed. We have invader speed is equal to two, and then inside of this while loop, invader dot forward at the invader speed. You, you can of course change the speed if you want to make the game harder or you know easier. You can slow it down. So now you see the invader icon or the enemy is moving but then you also see another problem. It goes out of screen and out of the window. So once it does that you can't hit it anymore. You want to set after We've done that. Now we want to set the boundary for the invader. So inside of this while loop, we can just keep checking if the invader's x coordinate is greater than 190 or less than negative 190. And then we can set the x coordinate. So how we do this is with the for loop. So if invader x coordinate is greater than 190, or invader dot x coordinate is less than negative 190. So greater than 190 is going to check for the right wall, the right boundary. Less than neg negative 190 is going to check for the left boundary, or left wall. And invader dot right 180. This is just going to flip the um, invader's angle 180 degrees. 
and then invader dot forward invader dot speed. So let's just see what happens when we run this now. Now we scenes this coordinate invader dot right. Not dot speed, underscore speed. And then if we run this invader underscore x coordinate. Invader dot x coordinate. Yep, now you see that the invader is moving again. And then if it hits this wall, it bounces back. And then if I still try to hit it, well, it just still goes through it. So that's still a problem. Always make sure that you're using, you know, dots and underscores uh, whenever necessary, or else there are going to be many errors, like the error I just did. And the now what we're we're basically done now so this is the end of the second part where we basically just added an alien enemy and uh, added a shoot being able to shoot so in the next part we're just gonna add sound effects create a scoreboard score scoreboard and you know checking for collision I'll see you guys in the next part